What's up athletes? It is time to get your sessions in. It's time to train. Even if you're at home, it's time to make sure that you continue to make progress. So here's what we're gonna do. We have a couple workouts for you. Today, we are gonna work on our linear movements, right? So we're gonna work on warming up, going through the process really well there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a space to sprint and jump. Those are the two biggest things for today. And then we have some workouts for you to do as well. So here's what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna start our warm up, right where we're at. We're gonna start pogo hops, right in place. Pop, 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 pop. We're gonna bring those feet up. We're gonna do three rounds of five seconds. Nice and tall, pop those toes up, bounce off the ground. So three of those. Then we're gonna go into our ankle mobility. We're gonna grab that knee. We're gonna rock forward, keep the heel on the ground. And then we're gonna bring it back up. Rock it forward, heel on the ground. We're gonna do that three times on each leg. Then we're gonna get ready for our sprinting. We're gonna do some arm action right here. We're gonna lean forward, knee over the toe, ready to go. We're gonna bring this right hand up by your cheek, the opposite hand by your other cheek. So here, nice and tall, long posture. Here, set, go, boom, boom. Go, boom, boom, snap those hands all the way down past your hip pocket and bring it back up. Snap it all the way out. We're gonna do five of those, boom, boom, right there in place. Okay, then we're gonna come up, hands behind your head, and we're gonna do five split squats on each leg. Nice, slow, lower, take it down, bring it back up. Five of those on each leg. Then we're gonna go into our snap down, up on our toes, set, go, boom, snap it down. Good athletic position, hold that. Bring it back up, set, go, bring it back down. We're gonna go five snap downs right in place. Then we're gonna get moving. So we're gonna start with some hamstring scoops. If you have big space, use it. If you don't, that's okay. You can do all of this right in place. So I'm gonna turn here, we're gonna do some hamstring scoops. So front leg is straight, back leg slightly bent. We're gonna scoop the turf, down scoop the turf, and then we're gonna push back. One, two, three, scoop. Scoop. Again, if you have distance, use it. Push back. One, two, three. Scoop. Scoop. Getting your fingertips to the ground. If you don't have space, just do it right here. And we're going to alternate right in place. Then we're going to go into a straight leg skip. So here, if you have space, use it. If not, do it right in place. So opposite hand up. We're going to bring this up. Five marches each side. And then we're gonna skip it, skip it. Go forward if you can, if not, do it right in place. From there, we're gonna do a single leg deadlift. Head to heel, strong like steel, let's go. So here, slight bend the knee here, long straight leg here, nice and long posture, reach it out, snap it up. We're gonna do five of those on each leg right there. Oh, now we're going to get into our marching and skipping. So here, we are gonna start on a line. So you can take it out if you don't have space. We're gonna find some uh, or do it in place. So here, thigh high, toe to the sky. Make sure to bring that knee up, bring that toe up. We're gonna march right in place using those arms. Snap, pop, off the ground. I want you to get a little bit of rise here. Nice, long, and strong posture. We're gonna do that. If you're outside, you can go for 10 to 15 yards um, and do that there. So march and skip. Uh, then, next, we are going to move into a vertical skip. Vertical skip. So, we're gonna bring it back, and then we're gonna go as high as we can, taking off here, up and land, up and land, up, Alternating. We're gonna do that for three on each leg. Then we're gonna go into a linear skip. We're gonna work on taking off and getting out as far as possible. Out, 
out, out, and get long, horizontal, linear skip, okay? Then we are going to break into our half kneeling sprint. Um, make sure on the march and skip, we're gonna do two of those, and on the horizontal and vertical, we're gonna do two sets of those, so do that twice. Then we're gonna get into our half kneeling sprints. So, again, if you have space, let's use it. Here we go. So, right knee down, left knee forward. We're gonna lean, we're gonna get a little bit of daylight under our heel here. We're gonna have our hands cheek to cheek here. Set, go, boom, we're gonna blast out and sprint. We're gonna sprint five to 10 yards, that's the goal. Get warmed up, make sure you break down in that good athletic position. So as I come up, sprint, 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 boom, break down. We're gonna do two of those with the right knee down, two of those with the left knee down. Then we're gonna go into our two point sprint. It's gonna look like this. Left foot forward, heel to heel, twist with a slight step back. We're gonna lean. We're gonna load up this ankle here. Lean, lean, hands here. Set, go, push, boom, take off. And break down. Make sure, break down every single time. That's super important. We're gonna do two with the left foot forward. Two with the right foot forward, okay? Then, we're gonna do four to five rounds of sprinting. No more than five, that's it. And you're gonna take a minute and a half to two minutes rest in between each rep because I want you sprinting as fast as possible. So we do two different kinds of sprints depending on your space. You can sprint for like a dash, like we just did here. Same thing, heel, heel, twist, set, go, boom, push, and sprint for 10 yards. If you have more space, I want you to sprint for about 20 yards, which is like our flying 10, okay? So we're gonna start in the same position, heel to heel twist with a slight step back, and then we're gonna sprint. And for those first 10 yards, we're in acceleration, and for those last 10 yards, we're gonna get up tall at our maximum velocity positioning. Boom, driving the ball of the foot through the ground, making sure we are putting pressure into the ground each time, okay? So that is how we are gonna start off our linear day work.